All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakal Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Salomon to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, give me a quick second. You know, I'm about to uh, try to get set up right fast. Okay. But the title of this video is um, Everyone in America is Depressed. Okay. And um, that's the truth, man. Okay. Just looking at how everybody is in, in this society. Okay. They have things that they call escapes. Okay. And everybody is trying to escape reality. Okay, because guess what? Reality is is extremely um, hard. Okay. Um. Now, the word depressed. Okay, and this goes for everybody. Okay, the word depressed is of a person in a state of general unhappiness or despondency. Okay. And the word despondency, okay, means a state of low spirits caused by loss of hope or courage, okay? And these people, they don't know what the heck they're hoping for, okay? Out here in this world, okay? Now, I'm going to get uh, the, the book of um, Galatians, okay? Galatians the uh fifth chapter okay in the nineteenth verse okay it says now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these okay adultery okay you have a lot of um well adultery is when a man has sex with another man's woman okay and a lot of these women okay they have this mindset that they're not being pleased in the relationship or that this guy that there was that they was with ended up um you know so-called cheating okay so now that puts them in a the mindset of oh i gotta i gotta repay this person back because they cheated on me okay so adultery okay is one of the things that you know a lot of these women are uh, doing okay the scripture says that uh, such are the ways of a, an adulterous woman she eats and wipes her mouth okay <laughs> and, and acts as though you know nothing happened okay but the, the thing is that it says fornication okay which that goes into you know um, uh, like bestiality okay you got uh, homosexuality okay you can't tell me that a homosexual is happy that he's he's gay because a lot of these people that are homosexuals they realize that they they have a, a demon on them okay and and they do this bullshit gay pride okay to to try to make it seem like they're happy about who they are but they really are are, are sad at the end of the day because they're not accepted okay for for for, for that homosexuality okay it's, uh, it says uncleanness okay <laughs> out here in baltimore a lot of these people out here they're really unclean and they don't take care of themselves okay they uh hygiene is extremely important okay and a lot of people out here have bad hygiene okay they don't um they don't uh take baths okay they, they they don't clean themselves they just don't care okay um then it says uh uh lasciviousness okay which is unbridled lust okay um idolatry okay and and that's a big one because a lot of these people out here are um you know they realize that that 
so-called uh, Jesus, okay, isn't going to come back to, 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 to save them, okay? So what, that, that also puts them in, in a mindset that, you know, fuck it. You know, that's the mindset that they have. And if you are in a religion where it's not helping you to be a better person, then you got to question that religion, okay? Now, the law, statutes, and commandments that are in the scriptures allow us, okay, to be a better person, to love ourselves for, for how the Lord wants us to, to, to be, okay? Another thing, with, like, like going back to the word fornication, okay, a lot of these people have been touched by their, their, their uh, family members and so on and so forth, man, okay? You got, you got family members that are touching boys. And they touching girls, okay? And these people, okay, are growing up, okay, with this 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 uh this mindset of of they actually been touched, and that does something to a person, okay? So it says idolatry, okay, and that could could be any any goddamn one thing, okay? Uh, people going after money and stuff, but then it says witchcraft which that's a, a, a extremely big one okay for for what people try to do when they try to escape reality okay a lot of these people are, are resorting to getting high okay smoking whether it's weed or cigarettes a lot of these people are smoking okay but the thing about witchcraft is okay yeah the lord put um you know the, the 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 herb on this planet okay but we're supposed to use it for a specific purpose okay not use it to the point of abusing ourselves okay and and these people are using this this herb out of the 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 uh the way that the lord wanted us to use it okay and 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 not only uh we but they have you know have coke Co cocaine okay you have a lot of op opioids going on out here okay and people are basically using this 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 um this product okay and instead of using it the right way of how the lord wanted it to be okay and when when you're doing that you're taking it out of the natural element okay that it was supposed to be Okay, and yeah, that's that's when it's turn be turn becomes witchcraft. Okay. Uh uh following at the, the wrong person example. Okay, because the scripture says rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft. Okay. So you, you have somebody that, that's sitting up, okay, and they rebelling against the Lord, or they or they do something, and now other people feel as though that they can do that. Okay. It says hatred. And that being in that state of unhappiness puts you in that mindset of hatred. Okay? And this this hatred, okay, is the 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 the, the wicked hatred, okay? Which it it says uh enmity. Okay, I'm gonna look that word enmity up. Okay, the state or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something okay and and guess what it's a lot of enmity okay between our people okay so-called black on black crime okay you even got the the the, the so-called negroes or people that are sitting up there talking about all the 12 tribes of israel are just all negroes okay because they hate the so-called latinos and the native americans Okay, that's that that enmity. Okay, extremely hostile. Okay, so um, continuing on, it says drunkenness. Oh no, salakia. Uh, what salakia means? Uh, sorry, it says variance. Okay, going to this word variance. Okay, and it means contention, strife, or wrangling. Okay, contention, debate. Okay, it says uh, emulations. Okay, 
going through this word emulations okay excitement of mind adore fervor of spirit zeal pursuing defending anything the fear fierceness of indignation punitive zeal and envious and contentious rivalry or jealousy okay and a lot of these people are are, are jealous okay especially if you're trying to if you're doing something you know with your with yourself so-called doing something with yourself okay because these people that, that 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 these people be jealous of they're not really doing nothing man okay uh, i'm jealous of this person because they 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 have this in their life or whatever the, 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 the case may be but the whole time you you jealous of somebody that ain't really you know living it up okay and they going through problems just like you are so why are you jealous man okay it says um uh wrath strife seditions heresies envians murders okay it's, a bottom one is, is is major for for uh for, for 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 murders man because these people are depressed man okay it says drunkenness okay and these people get drunk okay and, and and turn up to be alcoholics okay because they're depressed and they're trying to escape reality man okay america puts this spirit of being in a low state of mind okay on people man everybody here in america is depressed okay it says and such i mean it says revelings and such like of the which i tell you before as i have told also told you in times past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of yahweh so these people who are living in this depressed state of mind okay first off you're living without hope anyway okay and if you think that this is all there is to life you're just born to pay bills to die okay you're gonna die in your your your, your uh unbelief man okay um get this um isaiah uh 30 because a lot of these people don't believe okay isaiah 30 and uh uh seven it says for the egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose okay therefore have i cried concerning this their strength is to sit still okay so guess what you may have a child who, who who is going through some type of problem okay which they try to say that people have adhd okay and your child is going through some type of problem okay now all of a sudden you send your, your child to the doctor okay and they may be like well we just going to sit back okay we don't know what, what's the problem okay but um here, here go here go some pills you know and, and get his child this type of thing Okay, and when you get them the, the, the pills, it it may may look like the child is, is actually uh you know not depressed or, 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 or paying attention, but the child is just so it, like his brain cells are fucked up. Okay. The, his mind is, is messed up. Okay? The doctor didn't give you anything that, that, that's gonna actually help your child be better. Okay? That fucking end up at which i looked that word up antidepressants okay it says are medications that can help relieve symptoms of depression social anxiety disorder okay now the word social anxiety disorder because a lot of these niggas out here they 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 lack confidence okay which is <laughs> uncommonly okay for a man to lack confidence and 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 think that hey, i can't get this woman if i shoot my shot okay i can't get this woman if unless i got a fucking shape up or some bullshit man that's 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 a grow some fucking nuts man and then we like when we sit up here and we try to put confidence in people okay let me i'm gonna show you the example okay they, they, 
you it's like you're talking to children and this is a grown man like where's your confidence at man because a lot of these people have demons on them man okay it said this is what social anxiety disorder is okay it says we all know the feeling of being nervous and uncomfortable in a social situation maybe you've clamped up when meeting someone new or gotten sweaty palms because before making a big presentation public speaking or walking into a room full of strangers isn't exact exactly thrilling for everybody but most people can get through it okay now continuing on it says if you have social anxiety disorder through distress i mean though the stress of these situations is too much to handle you might avoid all social contact because things that other people consider normal like making small talk and eye contact make you feel uncomfortable and you got some brothers in this 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 truth okay that that act like they got social anxiety uh disorder and they may have it okay but when we come together we coming under the banner of yahab okay it says all aspects of your life not just the social could start to fall apart okay like i said you shouldn't be be embarrassed okay of, of trying to get at a woman and jake is is depressed man they, they scared to go at a, a female the female could could be ex <laughs> Showing that they 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 like him, okay. Jake want want other people to put him on and stuff like that, okay. It it shows you how bugged out this world is, man, okay. But it says antidepressants, which a lot of these people out here are on, are medications that can help relieve symptoms of depression, okay. And a lot of these people get get fat and overweight because they fucking depressed, okay. It says social anxiety disorder, anxiety disorders. Okay, seasonal affective disorder and dys dys th thymia. Okay, see what that that is. Okay, it says or mild chronic depression. Okay, as well as other conditions, and that shit don't that shit don't uh relieve any symptoms, man. Okay, because these people get on that type of stuff and they still going through the same bullshit. Okay, now it says dysthymia is defined as a low mood occurring for at least two years along with at with two other symptoms of depression okay uh it says examples of symptoms include loss lost interest in normal activities hopelessness low self-esteem which a lot of these people have low self-esteem okay low appetite okay and 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 I used to be depressed too. We, a lot of us used to be depressed before coming into this knowledge. Okay, it says low energy, sleep changes, and poor concentration. Okay, so these are the things that uh, antidepressants are supposed to do, right? Now I saw on this thing, right? Salawam ma. Okay, uh, it says uh snris raise levels of ser serotonin okay now i looked up the word serotonin right it says what is serotonin and what does it do okay serotonin is a chemical that has a wide variety of functions in the human body it is sometimes called the happy chemical because it con con contributes to well-being and happiness right now serotonin is used to transmit messages between nerve cells it is thought to be an active to be active and constricting smooth muscles and it con contributes to well-being and happiness among other things is the precursor for melatonin it helps regulate the body's sleep wake clock i mean cycles and the internal clock it is thought to play an appetite i mean play a role in the in appetite the emotions and motor and cognitive and automatic functions however it is not known exactly if serotonin affects these di directly 
or if it has an overall role in coordinating the, the nervous system okay so what these doctors do okay they'll give you some 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 medicine okay and they'll say well this is for serotonin okay but then this article says that serotonin serotonin don't don't necessarily it's not proven whether it, it affects your, your mood or your happiness and stuff like that so it's just these pills that these doctors are giving people, these antidepressant pills are just killing people's brain cells, man. Okay? And 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 then they just want to get high. That's one thing to, to escape reality. Okay, or, or or just play the video game or whatever the escape is. Okay? Um, get this scripture. Um the book of uh Proverbs, okay chapter uh 15 okay verse 13 a merry heart right which uh the heart is in the hebrew la'ab okay what which means uh your mind okay a merry heart or a merry mind makes a cheerful countenance okay means you you see a a, a person okay especially with, with, with when it comes down to brothers Okay, we go out there on the highway and I just you be seeing smiles on, on some brothers' faces because they're actually genuinely happy with these scriptures, man. Okay. It says makes a cheerful countenance. Now these 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 Edomites and, and the people of this world, okay, they, they try to have a, a a merry heart, but the whole time the the with these people uh having a happy mind or, or, or cheerful countenance is because they fucking high okay or they on some type of pills or some some drunk bullshit man okay rather than actually genuinely being happy okay some people don't even don't even um want to smile unless they got that their, their teeth right man okay oh my i i, I gotta have um I, i'm missing some teeth or something like that so which you know if you if you can fix your teeth up okay then go ahead and do it okay but some people be be too afraid of what other people think man especially these women like i said these niggas out here be having oh i gotta get my my, my fucking hair cut i can't i can't speak unless i get my hair cut can't speak to women unless i get my hair cut women you know be having all tons of makeup on because they depressed, man. Okay? All that fucking fake hair that they got in their head. Because they depressed that they can't actually go some real hair, man. Okay? And which is a curse according to the scriptures. It says, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. And these people don't have, they, they, they're they really sorrowful. A lot of these people, especially Jake, their spirits are broken. And Esau, you so so called Caucasians, then broke out people's spirits, man. Okay, I just did a video the other day that Esau is miserable. Okay, and 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 it's a saying that misery loves company. So so Esau, okay, likes the fact that our people are are, are fucked up. Okay. Uh, Exodus three and nine. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians op oppressed them. Okay, and that, and and and, and pretty soon, these uh, Edomites are gonna gonna uh, turn things up a notch, man. Okay, like in Babylon when they when ancient Babylon when they turned that 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 fire up. <laughs> what was it? They say uh, ten times. It was it was something like that, man. They turned that fire up, man. So hot that the, the, the person that that was uh, turning it up ended up dying, man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Esau going to turn turn things up, man. Real real soon, man. Okay. Um, this is um the book of uh Isaiah. Okay, Isaiah, what is it, 61? Isaiah 61 and uh, 1. The Spirit of the Lord God, Yahweh Shemuel Asai, is upon me because the Lord has appointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Okay, the meek are the humble. Okay, 
the scripture says that the Lord is near now to them that are of a broken and, and contrite heart. The ones that realize that they that they fucked up and that they need the Lord. Okay? That they don't know anything. The script it say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Okay? It says, um, to preach good tidings, like I said, before we before we came into this truth, you know, we was Gentiles in our minds, okay, and depressed and going through whatever, okay, the case may be. But now we, we heard this good news and it's like, oh, shoot, that goes back to that scripture, okay, a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, so now we're actually happy, okay? But, um, uh, speaking about that, okay, I, I had this scripture, okay, uh, Going back, Proverbs 12 and 25. Heaviness in the heart of man makes it stoop, okay? But a good word makes it glad, okay? So we have this, this good word. So now we got like, man, let me let me break up. Let me shake up whatever that, that, that shit that I was in, man. Whatever that funk I was in, let me shake that off, man. I'm focused on pushing forward, man, okay? Now I got real goals, okay, to make it to the kingdom, Lord willing that the Lord have mercy on me, man. Okay. Uh it says good good tidings unto the meek. Okay? That all this bullshit that we're going through is temporary. Okay. It says he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Okay. To proclaim liberty to the captives, because America is, is holding our people captives. Like like how they held our people captives back in uh Egypt. Okay, it says to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, Yahweh, and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. So this word is the comforter. Okay, not some fucking nigga that, that, that caused himself the comforter, man. Okay, this word is what, what comforts you. Okay, see that word comfort, man. Okay, uh, see what that that says. Okay, Ooh. all right, comfort a state of physical ease. Okay, which once again, okay, a lot of these people are in physical pain. Okay, so that also puts them in a the mindset of, oh, let me take something to, to, to get rid of this, this physical pain. Okay, it says, a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. Okay, then it says, the easing uh, and, uh, or alleviation of a person's feelings of grief, grief or distress. Okay, and how are we, how are we getting our... Uh, how are we getting alleviated? Not from taking some fucking relief, okay? And feeling like, oh yeah, that leave done, 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 done made me, you know, who I am today, okay? But but we getting relieved, okay, through the scriptures, man, okay? Changing up our whole mindset, okay? Being born again of the, of the spirit, okay, and growing in, into this word. Okay, and reaching those that 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 is meant to, to be reached. Okay, so that they can get up out of that 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 bullshit depression, man. Okay. Um, but guess what? A lot of these people out here ain't gonna do that, man. Okay. Um, continuing on Isaiah. Okay, it says Isaiah sixty one and three. Okay, I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna get one more verse, and I'm gonna end it. It says to appoint unto them. That mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes. Okay, that the, the so-called white man is giving you shit. Okay? He ain't giving you no real knowledge in, in the uh, school system. Okay, you go to school and 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 you know everybody in, in, in history is a so-called white man. Okay. Uh, uh our, our history just starts with them getting our people from Africa, which they try to wipe that out. Okay, they take they 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 took the, the trail of tears. Okay, out of the, the school textbooks. Okay. 
we're giving you the truth, which a lot of people can't take that that truth pill. Okay. Yeah, where's that uh, in, in the movie Matrix, man? Okay. They don't they don't want to take that 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 pill that 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 wakes them up. They want to take that pill that put them back to sleep, man. That that, that you know that they don't remember nothing. It's just the same. They want to just stay in that docile state of mind. Okay. Okay, well, hey, that's a good word to look up too, man. Okay, I love looking up uh, <laughs> uh, words, man. Okay, docile. Okay, ready to accept control or instruction. Submissive. Okay, and who are they submissive to? To Esau. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Okay, to give them on to give onto them beauty for ashes, the oil of of joy for mourning. Okay, the knowledge, the oil is the knowledge. Okay, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Okay, them spiritual garments, man. What you gotta keep, man. Okay, it says uh, that they might be called trees of righteousness, which which shows you that you know them trees in in the time of Adam and Eve was not. <laughs> Was 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 not just talking about you know physical trees, but but actual people. Okay, it says the planning of the Lord that He might be glorified. Okay, and and when you wake up into this truth and you come into this truth, you you really start to glorify the Lord. Okay, and you you don't be depressed no more. You don't be bored no more. Okay, there's really no reason to be bored. Period. When you're in this truth. Okay. You you one of the main things that this truth teaches you is 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 uh uh self control, aka temperance, man. Okay, which is you know of the spirit. Okay, yeah, you can we, you can go out here and you can you know like if if you like playing video games, which that's one of the things that I do, you know. Yeah, you play video games, but then at the same time you cut cut that shit off and you get into the scriptures, man. Okay. Read the scriptures, okay? Put, put, you know, uh, put a video up, okay? Get in contact with brothers, okay? Those, the, those are the things that that you can do, having having uh, self control and, and and ultimately believing and trusting in your heart, but some y'all sign and and uh and 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 uh having that motivation to to actually you know do what you want, man, okay? That's what the Lord wants, man, from, from, from you once you come into this truth. Okay? To serve him. Okay? Um Let me get one more scripture, okay? And I'm gonna uh end it. Okay. Isaiah 30 and uh 15. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, and returning and rest shall you be saved. What the scripture say? This is not your rest, okay? And a lot of people are depressed because they try to find rest, but they can't find no rest, rest for their souls, okay? It says, in returning, returning on to the Lord, okay, and rest shall you be saved, and quietness and, and confidence shall be your strength, and you would not, okay? So these people, they don't want that, 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 that to actually rely on the Lord. Okay. To to actually do as the Lord say. Cause they want they want pleasure. Okay, you got this thing called bread and circus, okay? Which a lot of these people just want, you know, to be uh amused. Okay. Out here in Baltimore it's a, a major thing for, for that uh you know when the ravens come up, people at my job revolving their schedule around the fucking ravens us. Uh, uh, football game what they only on for like three four hours you that's all you give a fuck about is the ravens nigga like for real but but these people they just want to eat food okay and, and and uh and 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 have some some type of fun man okay that's all the or, or, or try to fuck another man's woman man okay and it was I was uh looking at another scripture, okay. What is that? Because we was talking about adultery, okay. Proverbs 9 and 17. Okay. Stolen waters are sweet. Okay, that's 
you know, that's that that fucking vagina, man. Okay, niggas feel like, oh, oh yeah, that 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 woman, you know, still, that's another man's uh, woman. Okay, now, it, it's a good thing that I, I can steal another man's woman. That that means that I'm doing something good and he ain't doing nothing. Okay, it says, and bread eating a secret is pleasant. Okay, and these women, you know, <laughs> they feel like, hey, this this nigga out here, he my so called side nigga. Okay. My main nigga, nigga don't know. I got, you know, these women be having at work husbands and all type of shit, man. Okay? In order to feel like they 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 actually doing some shit, man. Okay? But but really, in reality, okay, these people ain't shit, man. Okay? Especially these people in Hollywood, man. They ain't shit, man. Okay? The only ones that that are are, are worth anything are the elect. Okay? Which are, are the Lord's chosen people. Okay? But other than that, you motherfuckers out here ain't shit, man. With your, your fucking depressed ass, man. Okay? And the Lord is going to destroy you with your fucking depressed bullshit, man. Okay? Because you're a fucking cancer onto this earth, man. Okay? You deserve to be on that fucking anti-depression bullshit, man. Because a lot of you niggas are the, are the ones who, 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 who offered up the Lord, man. Okay? To be, to be uh, crucified, man. Okay? Fucking two third man, fucking that shit crazy, man. But with that, man, I want to say so one, man. And to water for tuning in.